Everybody, it's Tyler here at Kelvin University in FIM Week 1, talking to team number 1918 NC Gears out of Michigan. And I'm here with Parker, who's going to be talking about a full robot breakdown here. This team has been doing fantastic, very consistent, and an awesome traversal climber. But of course, going through their intake, indexer, shooter, and a uniquely built homemade sword drive, all here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Did you know that over 30% of the student population at Kettering University was in high school robotics? These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in robotics scholarships from Kettering University. See why so many in first chose to go to Kettering University at Kettering.edu. Competition season is here. Head on over to thebluelines.com to catch all the events each week. Don't forget to submit your clips of the week to discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Vote in the FRC Top 25 and play in our free fantasy pick'em. Catch fun shows live on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. So Parker, we're going to start out on your intake your robot. Talk to me about uh, what's gone into it, uh, some iterations uh, that you might have made throughout the season as you approach Rapid React. So we've taken our uh, 2020 uh, shooter design into it and pickup, and we kind of designed sort of off that. Uh, it sticks out and spins. The ball comes in, and then it sucks up into the robot and then gets clocked up by the feeder wheel. And then it hits the limit switch inside the robot, uh, it's telling it all to stop. That is our general pickup. We've had a few problems with balls getting stuck right about here. And otherwise, it's fed pretty well so far. When you're looking at uh, material choice in regards to kind of your flail intake system on there, what made you choose uh, these types of uh, 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 material? Uh, we saw that it kind of quickly picked it up over the bumper, but after we got it really built into the robot, we said and saw that it didn't work as we had planned, so we did a cutaway bumper and fed it up in, but the wheels really just smacked it up and in, and it, the, it just had a little bit of extra help in there. As we go into your uh, indexing system, uh, you mentioned, like, do you have some sensors that kind of detect balls coming in, that sort of thing? Where are those on your robot? So we have a limit switch down here inside the robot. When the ball hits it, it kills the limit switch, and the f feeder index wheel stops, and shooter has the ability to uh, feed it forward for us. When you're looking at uh, approaching uh, bringing that cargo into your robot, uh, you guys have kind of a smooth curve as it goes through. Uh, how did you kind of approach like uh, jamming or not jamming? And then as you go into your shooter, you kind of pull this S curve a little bit as you go into it as well. We needed that S curve so we could fit the second ball in with it being clocked and touched up against the feeder wheel. And we use a pre-shooter wheel to get it up and finally up and over. So we have enough uh, pressure on it so it squeezes it just nearly enough that we have enough pressure to get it up to roughly about 80 to 90% speed. And then we have our shooter wheel just finish it off. So as we go into your shooter, uh, you guys have a pneumatic on it, so looking at a couple different positions to shoot from, right? Uh, no turret or anything like that, but you do have the sword drive to compensate for that as well. So when you're looking at kind of setting priorities in your robot, of like, hey, we need to do this, this, or this, what made you choose the type of shooter you went with? So back again to 2020, we saw that the balls were pretty close to the same. So we used the same shooter, but the hood is to help us get down into low goal. Otherwise, we have the angle nice and neat so we can go up into high goal almost every single time. Now, I think one of the stars of your robot has definitely got to be your climber on it. So talk to me about, um, you know, what went into it. How did you come up with the design that you have for it? Like, was that the first concept you had or what were some of maybe the field concepts or ones that didn't make it? So we had a couple concepts of where uh, it would go up, click, and then a second hook would come up and click in, and then it would fall back, reach out, and pull in. But we quickly realized there's different methods to doing this. The distance in between the bars stays the same. So we used uh, a gas spring or a pneumatic cylinder down in here to push it up. And then because the distance is good, we can uh, click in with a bar, hitting the limit switch, telling us we're good to go. And then we spin, hit the next bar, it releases the hooks, and then we go up to the traversal. And we got the idea from like car door hinges and working with other teams 
on the idea. Well, let's see the it's NC like Gears. You guys are looking great here it's at uh, Calvin State. We're, uh, so we're recording this about to head into line selection, so You're can't wait to see how you do. Good luck in the playoffs and, of course, during the rest of the competition field. season as well. Please return it to the field. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. If you want to continue enjoying the excitement of robotics, come check out what's going on at Kettering University, including their Combat BattleBots team and First Center. Turn your robotics experience into a professional career. Be sure to apply to Kettering beginning in August of 2022. Go to kettering.edu apply to learn more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.